how to move your left shoulder in the golf swing to get max compression on the golf ball. Mm. Love it. Stick around to the end for an awesome drill to help you with your game. So Ed, let's talk about this. We see a lot of problems with how people move their left shoulder in the golf swing. Let's talk about the right way to do it. So we're gonna walk through from a dress through the whole golf swing, how this moves in space. Okay. Okay, so as I start my backswing, so I've got this nice little trigger move, and then I start the takeaway, which way is my left shoulder moving? That shoulder is moving down and in, so that you can create a on-plane coil, right? And then as you start to flex your legs and lower body and sit, recenter yourself, that shoulder is actually gonna continue to move down and around and then back up this way as you push off the ground. Yeah, so let's walk through that slow. So actually, I'm gonna face the camera here. So as I start back, I've got this little trigger. I start back, you can see this shoulder is moving from right here, down and around. And then once I've kind of got here, I'm starting to recenter myself. Which way is that shoulder moving in transition right It's there? actually staying closed as you start to recenter yourself. Yeah, it's actually still almost still turning. Almost still turning a little bit. Like that. Yep, that little extra stretch that you need. Yep. Now, but it's also moved down at the same time. Yep. So it's moved down a little bit. And now from here, what does it do? Well, as you start to recenter, it's gonna start moving and you're gonna start feeling like the buttons of this shirt are gonna get closer to this leg as you're getting into transition. And then now as you start to push this hip up, it starts to send this up and in and now you have max compression. Because the more this left shoulder continues to move up and in, the more you're gonna have compression on the face. Yeah, so the more that this shoulder has moved down, up and, up and in, yep. the more I arrive in this kind of a, an impact. Yep. If my shoulder didn't move as far and I hit it. Yep, now look at all the loft that you have to add subconsciously because all of this has stopped moving. Exactly. So. Now we've showed people how our shoulder moves. It traces back a little down as I recenter, and then it works around behind me. What's a good drill we can do to train ourselves to do that? Samurai slinger. Samurai slinger. Okay, so we've got, and I've got a stick in the grip, and this stick, you just described it as? A samurai sword. A samurai sword. And what happens if the, the samurai sword's sharp? My goal is I don't want to cut myself in half before I hit that golf ball, right? So you better not release it and you better keep pivoting. So in order for me not to cut myself in half, I'm going to have to feel like I make this turn, recenter, land, open, 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 open. And you can see that's not going to, that's not going to get me. Nope, no and chance. And then I can drive that ball out there nice and low and straight. Yep. So let me try it. See if I can keep from chopping myself in half. Didn't touch, my, didn't touch me. Nope. Now take the stick away, okay. put another ball on there, and the same thing is that we don't want this to ever cross you, and we'll do this slow-mo, and we'll add it to the video. Okay. So whenever you're ready. And dead solid. Perfect. 